revolutionary love and liberation to you all. This is your man, Baba Dr. Brother Samori Kamara, um, here to teach uh, a lesson on how to teach the multiplication tables and what sequence we need to, it, it's best to go through when we're teaching it, right? So let's get right on into it. So we're, we're teaching multiplication, but we have to deal with the fact that multiplication is nothing but a shortcut of addition, right? So when we get started with our, our young ones, of course, we start them adding with Kyrie shells, with different manipulatives, first and foremost. And once they get the concept, then we then move on to the mental math part of it and memorizing some of the math facts. So we start with just the plus one. So we'll say uh, one plus one. Right equals two, and we will say two plus one <clears throat> equals three. So we'll just go with the with the plus ones, plus ones. Get them to really understand. I'm just adding one more number, right? Just adding one more number. So if it's four plus one, what's the next number after four? Five. So four plus one is five. Uh, five plus one, and we just keep on going until. Until they have mastered that concept. We will say 27 plus 1. What's next? 28. Right? Um, I've actually used too much of this screen right now. But let me just erase a little bit and, and, and keep it going. So after we do that, after we do the plus 1s, we do the take away. Take away 1s, right? Minus 1s. So we go through. Beautiful job there. We say 1 minus 1. Of course, 0 2 minus 1 is 1, and so on, and so forth, right? So we just want them to understand, okay, 4 plus 1 is, 4 plus 1 is the next number up from 4, which is 5. Then if we say 4 minus 1, it's the number that is before 4, which is 3. So this also helps with their before and after skills as well. It's very, very important. So after we do that, after we do the plus ones and the takeaway ones or the um, minus ones, then we go into the doubles. Now the doubles are, are, are real important. So as we go into doubles, one plus one equals two, two plus two equals four, three plus three equals six, four plus four equals eight, five plus five equals 10. I don't know if you noticed this yet, but 6 plus 6 equals 11. This is a multiplication table right here. Uh, 7 plus 7 equals 14, and 8 plus 8 equals 16. This is your two time tables. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. This is skip counting. 2, 4, 6, 8. Right? So, if the students understand this well, if they can get these, if they can memorize these, then they know the two timetables already, and we just keep it moving, right? So let's get into, no, actually, before we even go on into the multiplication tables, another thing that we, we must make sure that our children have, our young warriors have before they move on, is <clears throat> the numbers that, that bond to make 10. So 1 plus 9, right, equals 10. They need to know that by heart. 2 plus 8 equals 10. This will help them out. And this is to definitely help you all in our mental math class. This is one of the things that we we teach because it's such a vital part of you know, doing uh, advanced math in our head. Right? 10 is definitely our friend. Right? So we need to know all of these, all of these like the back of their hand, right? Like, the, like, like they know their African cells and their African hour story, right? So 1 plus 9 is 10, 2 plus 8 is 10, 3 plus 7 is 10, 4 plus 6 is 10, 5 plus 5 is 10. Need to understand that before really they move on into the multiplication, right? And so now we get into the multiplication. The ones. Ones are very, very simple. Just tell the student one times any number is that particular number, all right? So of course, one times one is one. One times two is two. And let them see how this 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 uh, actually works, right? So one times four, what is it going to be? It's going to be that number, which is four, right? And we can go all the way up. One times thirty-six is thirty-six, right? So that's the first one we teach, right? and that's 
very, very, very easy to teach. Our students should be able to pick that one up very, very quickly. One times any number is that number. One times any number is that number. Let's move on to the twos. The twos, if our students, if our young warriors have already learned how to double, they know how to do their twos. Check it out. Right? So two times one is two, which is nothing but, right, one plus one. So you would just double this number. Let's see, let me get a couple different colors. So you just double this number. Double. Kind of looks like double. All right, you just double that number. All right, so if it's two times two, stay with that. Two times two, is which is four, all you do is what? Double two. Two plus two equals four. Two times three, six. Double the three. Three plus three is six. So if our students already know how to double the numbers, if they know those by heart, then they know their two timetables, right? If if they know two times, if they know if they know ten plus ten is twenty, they know two times ten. If they know eight plus eight is sixteen, they know two times eight because two times eight <clears throat> is nothing but sixteen, and all you do is just double the number. And so we we tell our students very directly all right when it's the two time tables just double the second number so if it's two times four just double the number two times four okay you, you can hear them saying uh, four plus four is eight okay two times four is eight you know we say two times six you can hear them saying six plus six is twelve so two times six is twelve all right so you just double that second number for the twos right let's move on to the next one now we jump all the way up to the tens we did the ones we did the twos now we go to the tens. All right, the tens, just add a zero, right? Just add a zero for the tens. So one times ten <clears throat> equals ten. And that's just our understanding of what one times any number is, is that number. All right, two times ten, of course, all you do is add a zero to the first number, which is, which is 20. So add a zero to this number here, all right? Let's see, add zero. Okay, add zero to that number and you get twenty. Okay, three times ten, add a zero to three and you get thirty. Four times ten, add a add a um add a zero to four and you get forty, right? And so on. And so so nine times ten, add a zero to nine, you get ninety. All right, very simple. So we've already so our students can have these in about five minutes. In about five minutes, if we if we've done a good job with the with the basic addition and subtraction, we've done a good job with the doubles. Our our children can memorize and know by heart the ones, the twos, and the tens in about five minutes. Now we move on to the elevens, and you just add the elevens, and they can know you know all four of those in about five minutes. So with the elevens, you just double the number, right? So one times eleven, of course, you just double. <clears throat> not double. Um, how should I say it? Because I said double with the other one. Uh, you just put that first number besides itself, and that's the answer. All right. So one times eleven is eleven. Two times eleven, of course, is two two. Right. You just put two of those numbers together. Three times eleven is 33 three or 33. Uh, 4 times 11 of course is 4 4 or 44. 5 times 11 5 5 or 55. 6 times 11 6 6 or 66. 7 times 11 7 7 or 77. 8 times 11 is 8 8. 9 times 11 we know is Nine nine or ninety nine, all right. So, and if you if you want to do ten times eleven, boom, all you do is what? Ten times eleven is add a zero. Add a zero to the eleven, which is from the ten times tables, which they already know already, right? Just add a zero to the eleven. When every time you multiply something times 10 you just add a zero to the number and that is it 
Alright, so now we have the ones, we have the twos, we have the, uh, what do you say, the tens and the elevens. Four, four timetables, and our students, our young warriors can have that in about five minutes. You know, really amazing. So, let's move on to what's next, what's next, the fives. Now, the fives, we really teach our young ones to just do it on their hands in the beginning, to just count on their fingers by fives. And if we do a good job of our skip counting early on, by twos, by fives, by tens, um, by twenties, by twenty-five, they should be able to get this very quickly as well. So, if we have <clears throat> five times one, that's going to equal five, right? Five times two, and we just count by, that's not five times two, here we go, five times two equals ten, five times three equals fifteen so we just have our students really count by by five on their hands all right five times five twenty five five times six thirty five times seven thirty five Forty and so on right just count by and we also let them know look the answer is going to end in a five or a zero either one right five or a zero so there might be some other tips and uh, strategies to, to remember the five timetables, but we found that our students counting on their, on their hands can get the fives fairly, fairly quickly, fairly quickly. So now we have the ones, the twos, the, the, the tens, the elevens, the fives, and now we move on to the nines. The nines. We're just skipping all over the place. And you'll understand why we skipped all over the place in a, in a, in a little bit. But one of the reasons why we skip all over the place with the multiplication tables is because we're going from from the the simple ones to the more uh, advanced ones or, or, or the, the more difficult ones so here is the nines and there is a particular technique that we teach our students first and foremost uh, for understanding the nine timetables before <clears throat> with with by using their hands by using their hands right so the technique is this you place your hands up in front of you, both hands and your thumbs should be going out to the outsides of yourself and your your pinky should be in the middle, right? Your two pinkies should be in the middle. So you count off on your fingers as we see here, we see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, right? So those are the numbers uh, on your fingers and you have to have that ingrained in your mind. It's pretty simple, right? So if we wanted to say um, what is nine times one, which we already know, so let's not even do that one. Uh, our students will already know nine times one or one times nine is nine, right? And even um, nine times two, our students will know that nine times two is nothing but nine plus nine, which is 18. So let's just go and start with three, okay? So if we say nine times three, let me write that up here. Nine times three, okay? Nine times three, what we'll do is, is we'll take down the third finger and I'll just erase the top of it to, to kind of show that I'm taking it down, right? So we take down the third finger and we look at how many fingers we have on this side and how many fingers we have left on the right side. Okay, so we have two fingers on this side and we have seven on that side. So our answer is what? 27. Do we see how that can work? Do we see that? Let's see. Let's, let's do another one. Um, all right, so... Instead of 9 times 3, let's go with 9 times, let's just go to 9 times 5, all right? So, in order to show our, you know, taking down our pinky finger on our left hand, I'll just cut the top off of it, right? Just raise the top off of it, okay? So now, we ask ourselves, how many numbers do we have on this side, on the left side? And how many fingers do we have on this side? And so we, we count one, two, three, four. So we have four on the side, right? We have one, two, three, four, five on the side. So our answer will be four, five, which is nothing but 45. It's a, it's a really amazing technique. Uh, students really enjoy doing it and they learn those nines very, very quickly doing it this way. So let's, let me do one more when we, have to start on the the left hand. All right, so everything is back. All right, so let's say nine times eight. 
Nine times eight equals what? All right, so again, I'm going to take that eighth finger. I'm going to cut off the top portion of it, just so we understand. And now we look to see how many fingers we have to the left. The left of our cut off finger or our finger that's being, that's being pulled down, right? So we have those fingers on this side and we have two on this side, right? So how many fingers do we have on this side? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right? So we have seven on this side and two on that side, so our answer is 72, right? And this is just one way to learn the nine time tables. We find that it's, it's, it's very, very practical. Our students learn them very, very quickly. Again, they can have the ones, the twos, the tens, the elevens, the fives, and the nines down in about 10 minutes. In about 10 minutes, seriously, right? So let's move on to the other technique with the nines. The other technique with the nine is to have our students understand that there's a, that there's a pattern with this nine. There's a beautiful pattern with the nine. The nine is a is a is a beautiful number. All right? 54, 6, 3, 7, 2, 8, 1, and 9. All right. So if we look, let me get the red here. If we look, let's say 9 times 2. 9 times 2, we already know is 9 plus 9, which is 18. But if we say 9 times 2, our students should understand that the answer will begin with the number that is below, the number directly below what we are multiplying times 9. So if we're multiplying 9 times 2, we, our students should know that the answer is going to begin with the number before 2. What's the number before 2? 1. Okay? The number before 2 is 1. Now, okay, they have the first number. How do you get the, the back number or the second number? You, all our students have to do is understand 1 plus what number will give us 9? 1 plus what number will give us 9? Alright? So if you understand that, they say 1 plus 8 gives us 9. So our answer is 1, 8, which is 18. And if you look at all of these, 9 times 3, the answer is going to begin with what? The number before 3, which is 2. Alright? And then we say 2 plus what will give us 9? 2 plus 7 gives us 9. 9 times 4, the answer will begin with the number before 4, which is 3, and 3 plus 6 gives us 9. 9 times 5, the answer, the number before 5 is 4, and 4 plus 5 gives us 9. 9 times 6, the answer begins with the number before 6, which is 5, and 5 plus 4 equals 9. 9 times 7, the answer is going to begin with the number before 7, which is what? 6. And 6 plus what gives us 9? 6 plus 3. Okay? Um, 9 times 7. I mean, 9 times 8. 9 times 8, the answer is going to begin with the number before 8, which is 7, and 7 plus 2 equals 9, so the answer is 72. 9 times 9, the answer is going to begin with the number before 9, which is 8, and 8 plus 1 gives us 9. All right, and then we have, of course, 9 times 10, which our students already know, but 9 times 10 is going to start with the number of what? Before 10, which is 9, and 9 plus 0 equals 9. All right? So we have two different techniques um, to teach our children the nine time tables. Both are really effective. I found that the, the finger method was, was easier, is, is easier for the younger students, young as four, young as five. Um, but this method here you know, is easier for the students who are in upper elementary and maybe middle school because they can understand better and see it in their mind. This number, you know, if it's 9 times 2, the number before 2 is 1, and 1 plus 8 is 9, so 18, right? And so we have those two techniques. Our students, they have these multiplications. They, this doesn't have to take, this doesn't have to take very long. A student came to us this summer, and um, she was struggling with her 2s. Mom said she barely knew her 5s, um, and that was all she knew. She knew her 1s and 2s and barely knew her 5s, barely, right? So she came in that morning and 10 minutes later she had her ones her twos her fives her nines her tens and her elevens really really quickly right really really quick i don't know what they're doing in the public food system but they're, they're they're taking too long with this kind of stuff let's move on all right so now we go to the fours now we go to the fours all right 
four times one. All right. The fours are similar to the twos in that you're going to double, but this time you're going to double twice. And we already know that four times one, and our, our students would already know four times one is four. We know that. But here is the technique here. The first thing you would do is say one plus one equals what? Two. Right? And then we would say two plus two equals four. So four times one is four. So we'll hear our students, we want, we want to hear them say four times one. So let's go with, let's just go with four times two. Even though, again, they would already know that 4 times 2, when you multiply something times 2, you double it twice, which is 4 plus 4 is 8. But when it's 4 times 2, right, you just double it twice. So we say 2 plus 2, of course, equals 4. And then 4 plus 4 equals 8. So our answer will be 8 here. And you can do, use this technique with the 4s all the way through, right? So let's just, let's just go to 4 times 5, just to... Speed the process up a little bit. So we say 4 times 5. And we'll hear our students say, okay, 5 plus 5 is 10. 10 plus 10 is 20. So 4 times 5 is, is 20. But of course, they would already know their 5s their because of their fingers. But this is how it would look. 5 plus 5 equals 10. 10 plus 10, of course, equals 20. All right, let's do um, a little, something a little bit harder. Let's say 4 times 8. All right. We know that 4 times 8 is 32. All right. But we will hear our students say 8 plus 8 is 16. And then 16 plus 16 is 32. Now, here at Kamali Academy, we teach our children um, mental addition very, very quickly. And so they would do it in their head. They would say, and we go left or right. So they'll say, think about six, uh, 16 plus 16. They'll just think about 1 plus 1 is 2, and 6 plus 6 is 12. So you put the 2 there, we add a little 1 next to the first 2. And so that's 2 plus 1, which is 3, so the answer will be 32. And they can do that in their head. All right, but we'll hear our students saying 4 times 8, okay, 8 plus 8 is 16. 16 plus 16 is 32, so 4 times 8 is 32. And you can do that with all of them, with all of them, right? So let's move on. Now to the threes. The threes, only ones that we only ones we have to to memorize in the threes, if we have if we already have all the other ones we've done already, is three times three, um, three times six, three times seven, and three times eight. So that's only four that we would have to actually memorize. That's only four that we have to actually memorize. So three times three, I don't, I don't have a tip. I don't have a, a technique for, for these four threes <laughs> that you would have to memorize. That's just a little bit of, uh, of, of, of effort that you, I guess the, the young warriors have to put in, but they get it very quickly. So three times three is, is nine, right? Three times 16, of course, is 18. Three times seven is 21. And three times eight is 24. But they already have all the other ones because they said three times four, right? They know that if it's multiplying times four, I just double the other number twice. So it'll be three plus three, which is six. And then six plus six is what? Twelve, right? So they already know three times four. They already know three times five is, is 15. They already know three times nine, right? Three times nine, if the number is... is um, Multiplying times nine is, you know, the answer is going to begin with the number before that number or the number before three, which is two and two plus seven equals nine. So the answer is twenty seven. They know three times ten. Right. Three times ten is thirty. They know three times eleven as well. Right. So we, they would only have to really memorize those four. And that's it. And for let's move on to the sixes. I mean, the only ones they would have to memorize for the sixes, if they have all of those, right, is six times six, six times seven, six times eight. So here, all they would have to memorize is is three. You see that? So it gets easier and easier um, as we go along. And the sixes, the sevens, the, and, and the eights are, are sometimes called the hardest ones. 
But if you already know the ones, if you already know the twos, if you already know the fives, if you already know the fours, if you already know the nines and the tens and the elevens, those are very easy, you know, at that at that point, right? So 36, you have four times, I mean, six times seven is 42, and six times eight is 48. I have a video at the end of, of this video that'll show one of our students, five years old, you know, just breezing through the timetables, all right? And so that's the sixes right there. They already know six times four, all right? Six times four, they know if a number is multiplied times four, you double it twice, right? So six plus six equals what? 12, right? So then 12 plus 12 equals 24. They already know that already, right? They know six times five is 30. They know six times nine is 54. They know six times 10 is 60. They know 6 times 3 is 18. They know 6 times 2 is nothing but 6 plus 6, which is 12. They know these things already. And so we go to the 7s. How many do they have to memorize on the 7s? Right? If they've memorized all the other ones. 7 times 7, 49. And 7 times 8, 56. That's it. They already know the other ones. Right? And let's look at the 8s. And this is this is and this is the beauty of this sequence, because if you go in this order, once they get to the so-called hard ones, there's only four, three, two or even one to memorize. Right. And that is eight times eight, which is sixty four. Now, we didn't go all the way up to the twelves. So why do you go to the twelves? It's fine if you go to the twelves. But when we are doing our mental math and and. We can enroll in the mental math class on KamalaAcademy.com. With our mental math, once our students really understand the 1s through the 10s, they can do, or 1s through the 11s, they can do the mental math in their heads for any other number. So, for example, if they had, let's say, 2 times, uh, 12 times 2, right? And by all means, if you feel like they need to memorize the 12s as well, do so. That's fine. Right. And our students have memorized the 12s. I don't even know how they memorize the 12s, <laughs> but but they have the students that we've been teaching in, in this way, in this technique. Right. But two times um, 12, they would say they would break down the 12 into 10. And two. Right. So they'll say two times 10. They know that already. Right. It's 20. And then two times two, they know that already, which is four. And twenty plus four is twenty-four. Now you might say that's a lot to do, so they just should should memorize it. Sure, maybe, right? But in the multiplication that we teach, the mental multiplication that we teach, learning to separate the ten and the two, or separate twelve into ten and two, will help them later on learn how to multiply much bigger numbers, like forty-seven times seven. 47 times 3 or 33 times 8, all those kind of things because they will use the same technique for that. I know this video has been has been pretty long, but hopefully it has it has helped you to to understand better what sequence you should teach your 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 young warriors their their timetables. All right? We start with the ones, we go to the twos, we then we go to the what? The 10s, then the 11s, then back to the fives then up to the nines, right, and then back to the fours, then to the threes, then to the sixth, the seventh, and the eighth. And once you get up to the eight, they only have they only have to memorize one. Once you get up to six, they only have to memorize four. Once you get up to seven, they only have to memorize um, three, right? Something like that. Something like that. So, but you've seen it all here, and it's pretty simple. Right, we got it. Let me see. Let me go back to that seven. Let me go back to the sevens. Did I get seven? Yeah, I mean, they already learned seven times six. Right? Yeah, they already learned seven times six. Yep, yep. So we got two here and only one there. Right? Only one. Eight times eight, which is 64. All right? So hopefully this video has served you. I want you to go out. I don't care how young they are. Once they know those basic um, addition and subtraction and be able to 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 know it's you know two plus plus eight is ten and those kind of things get started on their multiplication tables make sure you got it out of the way so that everything else is just learning the concepts in their in their math uh, career 
All right. So again, this is Baba Doctor Brother Samori Kamara. Happy to be of service to you. Please visit Kamali Academy. We are here. Liberation, brother. What's your name? Cy Harris, aka T'Challa. T'Challa, Black Panther. How old are you, brother? Five. So, let's start. What is what's two times eight? What's uh, two times uh, no leeway? Two times no leeway. <laughs> no leeway. Get out of the way. No leeway. Hey. Sai. Okay. All right. You got this in your face, right? So what's three, what's three times nine? 47. What's, um, what's nine times five? Forty-five, beautiful. What's nine times seven? <laughs> Sixty-three. What's nine times nine? What's nine times nine? What's nine times ten? What's nine times eleven? What's nine times twelve? What's nine times uh, one? <laughs> what is eight times two? What's eight times seven? Good, good. What's eight times five? Good, good. Let's see. Um, what's six times six? <laughs> Is that what I said? Eight times six or, or six times six? <laughs> yeah. What's eight times six? What's six times six? Thirty-six. All right, all right. We want to cut the video short because no leeway is having a little issue here. <laughs> All right, young brother side. Thank you so much. Real quick, what's four times four? What's four times eight? Thirty-two. Good job, young brother. Thank you so much. No leeway. We say Asante Sana, Madase. See y'all later.